Future trunks. I've got to protect the peace. Although Trunks questions his place in this fight, he proceeds to practice with Vegeta. Somewhere in the future, Trunks' world is suddenly attacked by a powerful foe seeking to wipe out all life on Earth, Goku Black. I swear, this stream is all about Goku Black. Having lost countless allies and even his mother, Bulma, Trunks escapes in his time machine to the present day to ask Goku and the others for help. Based on the information from Trunks, Goku and friends try to uncover the identity of Goku Black. One such suspect is Zamasu from Universe 10, but they cannot find any proof that the two were connected in any way. When Trunks learns that Goku fought a destroyer, he begins to wonder if he has any place in this fight. Perhaps sensing something in his son, Trunks' father Vegeta approaches him. Over here, boy! Let's get back to training! You haven't trained me since back when Cell was on the loose, remember? Of course not. You think I keep some kind of diary under my pillow? Well, I haven't forgotten your father. A year in the hyperbolic time chamber with you? I'll always remember that. I went through hell. You're nothing. Everyone, lend me your power. No need to hold back. Use your Super Saiyan 3 like Goku did. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Use your Super Saiyan 3 like Goku did. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa. What level is that? We call this Super Saiyan Blue. There's no mistaking it. Father and Goku's new energy. Fighting against literal gods has pushed them beyond their natural abilities. And this isn't even the full extent of his power. Father's way ahead of me, that's for sure. My father and Goku could take on Black in their Super Saiyan Blue form. I guess there was no need for me to get stronger after all. Look at me, dumbass! <laughs> Wipe that smile off your face! Stopping black! Is that your only goal? You think it ends there? Think about the next threat! In a year, or five, or ten! Or think about your pride! If Saiyan blood flows in your veins! If you are my son, as you claim! Then I will tolerate you losing to anything! <laughs> I hear you, and I will get stronger. Stronger than Black, and stronger than you. Fired up by his father's words, Trunks decides to defeat Goku Black for himself. Using the time machine prepared by Bulma, he returns to the future with Goku and Vegeta. But in the meantime, Goku Black has acquired a new transformation, Super Saiyan Rose, giving him the power he needs to defeat Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. What's more, Samusu has also arrived. Not only does he reveal his plans to kill Trunks and the others, he also shares that he has obtained an immortal body. The moment Samusu, Black, Samusu and Black drop their guard, Trunks and his allies escape back to the present. With Heaven Beerus, they destroy Samusu in the present. Beerus said that in killing Zamos in the present, it should affect the future, so they return to the future to see what has become of him. But they find Zamos and Goku Black still very much alive. Goku challenges them, but is defeated. There's no need for impatience. It's your turn now. Let's finish them off nice and slowly. Trunks? You can leave Black to me. Use your head. He's too much for you. I can do it, you'll see. Even if I have to pay the ultimate price. You're so brave, Trunks. It's touching, but you are a sinner. A sinner. 
He first arrived time to save Goku when he was supposed to die of a heart. Isn't that right? If he had died, as history originally recorded, time would not have been split. He would have never challenged him, and I would not have had to take his body. But you warped history, ripped a hole in the fabric of time. You made this possible. All this horror, as you did, it all begins with you, Trunks. <laughs> Don't you see? That time machine proves your mortal arrogance. Why, you cannot be allowed to live. You both enabled and inspired us. You helped to light the flame of our justice. You helped to launch Project Zero Mortal. No, no. So, next time you mourn your Remember, they're dead because of you. It's over! All I've ever tried to do is save people from walking nightmares like you! Everyone, lend me your power! I'm on it! So we It's over! <laughs> Why does this go a different way? I want you to take Goku and get back to your timeline, okay? I've been seven, level 17 for such a long time. Trunks and Hero's escape zone soon make it back to the present. Just as they are struggling to devise a plan to defeat an immortal enemy, Go suggests they use the Evo Contamination Wave. Contaminate Wave. Go teaches Trunks the Evo Contaminate Wave as, as a means to defeat Zamasu. Under the new technique, Trunks returns with the others to the future world. On arriving, Trunks becomes embodied in a fight with Zamasu, all the while looking for an opening to perform the ceiling technique. You've interfered with my plans for the last time, Trunks. Your pitiable existence ends here. Zamasu's leaving himself wide open. His immortality's made him careless in battle. Gotta look for the right opening to use the evil containment wave. I did, I changed it again. So we. This should be planted for fiction. Final flash! Absolutely nothing. All your efforts are for naught, sinner. Half it.
Every attack you land serves only to remind me of my own glorious immortality. Immortal, but not invincible! What? Evil containment wave! What are you doing to me? Zamasu, this is the power of us mortals! I am a god! What do you arrogant mortals know of power? This is what you get for underestimating mortals! I I did it! Zamasu is finally gone! Chuck succeeds in using the evil containment wave to seal away Zamasu. But the battle is not over yet. Goku and Vegeta still are locked in combat with Goku Black. They need all the help they can get. Having taken care of Zamasu, Trunks rushes to join the fight against Goku Black. Trunks challenges Goku Black, finding this as a chance to finally put a stop to the one who had laid waste the world for so long. Black! <laughs> nice. <laughs> Trunks is alive. But how? Zamasu is immortal! There's no possible way you could have killed him. I didn't have to. I sealed him away for good. You did what? Nice going, Trunks! Looks like you're not as invincible as you thought, are you, Black? Hm. So Zamasu is gone. It matters not. As long as I still exist, my zero mortal plan will succeed. And besides, I can always use my time ring to find myself a replacement to Zamasu. That's not gonna happen. We're putting a stop to you and your plans right here, right now! We mortals will never give up, never surrender! You are so mistaken if you think mere mortals have any right to interfere with a god's ambitions. Just lie down and accept defeat. You're the one who's mistaken, Black. Being a god doesn't mean you can just go around killing whoever you want. This is for all the people you've terrorized over the years, and for all the lives you've taken. All their hopes and sorrows will become my strength. <laughs> Yeah. Feet. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. 
mortal pushing back against the god. <laughs> Efficiency. Wait, wait, was I supposed to do something there? Very well. You have left me with no other choice. I shall let my hatred for you mortals become my strength. Learn the depths of my rage, mortals, and taste true despair. You all deserve to die. <laughs> Don't you give up now, Trunks! Father soon come here, huh? Father! Is that the extent of your rage? After everything he's done to you, get angrier! Think of everything he's taken from you! The peace he stole from you and your whole world! Or did losing your mother to this monster mean nothing to you? Get angrier! Impossible! My wrath towards humanity was insufficient! This mortal has overcome a god! With one final rage and steel gallic gun, Trunks and I let's go black. Trunks hands over the jar and takes almost to the Supreme Kai. Visitors 10 and Gozu for safekeeping. As almost when Goku Black defeated, peace has been restored to the future timeline. But Trunks know knows this victory isn't his alone. Trunks has set his heart on getting stronger, fighting new enemies so he can protect his world without relying on Goku or Vegeta for help. Did that count as an ending? Hmm? Shining Hope chapter. Shining Hope. Well, uh, well, see, we're not done there. Uh, that was the one way. Without, without, within a given time. Oh, ah, it tells you what it does. Okay, I get it. All right. Wear down your opponent within a given time. Okay. Now let's do the main thing here. There's no need for him, Pate. You're so brave, Trunks. It's tough. But you are a sinner. A sinner. You first defied time to save Goku when he was supposed to die of a heart illness. Isn't that right? If he had died, as history originally recorded, time would not have been split. He would have never challenged me, and I would not have had to take his body. But you warped history, ripped a hole in the fabric of time. You made this possible. All this horror as you did. And did you, Trunks? You're done! Don't you see that time machine proves your mortal arrogance? Why you cannot be allowed to live? You both enabled and inspired us. You helped to light the flame of our justice. You helped to launch Project Zero Mortal. <coughs> so, next time you mourn your peace. Remember, they're dead because of you. All I've ever tried to do is save people from walking nightmares like you! It's over! Let me out! 
father. I want you to take Goku and get back to your timeline, okay? Is this the correct one this time? Okay, so there's that one. Oh, uh, no, I fucked up again. To leave you here. No, he's right. It's the only way to save his future. You agree with this? You're not getting away. He's holding them off. First, you'll have to deal with me. Take this. You're no match for me. That So dependent on Goku and his friend. Trunks had bought time for Goku and Vegeta to escape, but it came at a price. Tomosu and Black have Trunks backed into an inescapable corner. But just in a nick of time, Trunks is saved by his friends from the future. Trunks confronts Tomosu and Goku Black once again, but with Tomosu's newfound immortality, Trunks realizes he's been off more than he can chew. Using the time machine once more, Goku and the others return to the future, where Bulma teaches Trunks the evil containment wave to seal away enemies. Once Trunks manages to get the technique down, he attempts to use it on Tomosu. But since they forgot the necessary charm from Master Roshi, the evil containment wave ends in failure. Thus begins a new world. That is still so cool. Still, such a thing poses a threat to Samus and Black, so they use the Patara to fuse their bodies. Now, one, the Fuse Samus uses the unspeakable power he has obtained to defeat Goku and Vegeta. Father! Goku! Oh. So. Another lamb. Wishes to be slaughtered. Hello. Trunks, why did you. Father! Zamasu! I'll make you pay for this! No. Oh god. You're facing me now! Last Despite all my decrees, you're still completely oblivious. You have so much health. Against me. Told for your indiscretions with your life. Against me. Here I am. 
atone for your discretion. So we. This is it. Sinful as it is, you refuse to accept your destruction. But in the end, Enough of you impudent mortals! Away with you! Troops! Father! Ah! One by one, the attacks by Trunks, Vegeta, and Goku begin to break down Zamasu's fused body. By fusing with Goku Black, who lacked an immortal body, he's also had to introduce an impurity into his form, which hindered his regenerative powers. Get ready for this. Goku seizes a chance to turn that flaw into Zamasu's demise. Using the Batara he borrowed from the Supreme Guy, he fuses with Vegeta to overwhelm Zamasu. However, he uses too much strength in his own to maintain the fusion. Pulling apart, Goku and Vegeta are thrown back into to a fight for their lives, but they are not alone. Trunks comes to their rescue. With the weight of the hopes and dream dreams of all those living in the future on his shoulders, Trunks has prepared himself for the final battle against Zamasu. Yes, I can! I am everlasting! How will you escape? 
escape my judgment. Begging for help from the rest of your pathetic mortal herd, or this time will you try the future? How will you compensate for your weakness now? Compared to gods, of course we're weak. But you can never make me ashamed of that. Because when mortals do join forces, that's when we can do anything. Because believing in our fellow man and helping each other to survive... That's what redeems us. That's what makes us who we are. Makes us worthy. That's what gives us our real power! Zamasu, never! You're done! This is it! So... What is that? Big sword. Energy. It's flowing in from every living thing in this world. I can feel it. Keep it coming, you guys. Share your power with me. I don't care how much energy you collect. It will never compete with a god! Here we go, everyone! We'll defeat Zamasu! No! You're a mere mortal! It's not about gods and mortals! You don't believe in anything but yourself! And we won't let you win! I don't understand how it can be this strong. It feels chaotic. So many energies melded together. This is the power of mortals fighting for each other. The power of believing in something bigger than just you. But how? This can't be. Overwhelmed by Trunks' attack, Zamasu vanishes in a flash of light. However, this was not enough to rid them of Zamasu for good, so long as his key remains, so does the threat of the universe is falling under his control. Thinking quick, Goku summons the Zeno, who wipes Zamasu from existence once and for all. Usually others return to the present to tell their friends all that had happened in the future. 
Following Weasel's advice, Trunks decides to use the time machine to return to his own time, a bit this, to a slightly earlier point. Are you sure you can't stay a little longer, honey? Don't start getting sentimental. I'm just sad to see him go so soon. Besides, I imagine you might want to train with him some more, right? <clears throat> Mom. Father. Maybe she's right. If I were to train with Father again, I could become stronger than I've ever been. An option. Father, perhaps you could spar with me just one more time? What for? Because I have to be able to protect my world from any threat it could ever face. I need to. No matter what it takes? I'll endure any training you throw at me, no matter how brutal. Then... You're gonna stay with us after all! Oh, Trunks, I'm so happy I could cry! As long as it's not an inconvenience. Of course not! No matter the timeline, this place is your home and you're always welcome here. Thanks, Mom. I promise, I'll become stronger and stronger. 2% and 3 Trunks, anyone? Thus, he decides to stay in the past a little longer and train with Vegeta in the hopes of reaching new heights in his strength. However, one day, Trunks Vegeta's training is cut short. Goku comes to ask for help with getting Gohan back into fighting form. Trunks really agrees, eager to test his own skills against new opponents. In the end, it's decided that he will spar with each of them in turn. I'm filled with determination. I'll fight you first. Prove that all this training hasn't been a waste of my time. I will, Father. This is it. We fight as one. What's the matter? Certainly you didn't defeat Zamasu and Goku Black with such meager power. Come on it. Channel your willpower into an explosion of rage. Break past the very limits of your power. Got it. Looks like I'm up next, then. After Gohan taught me, I never thought I'd have a chance to learn from the one who taught him. Huh. I'd nearly forgotten that. Hard to picture Gohan as a martial arts instructor. This'll be a good chance to hone any demon-style techniques he taught you. Allow me to show you how to fight like a demon. <laughs> Everyone! I can feel it. Keep it coming, guys. Share your power with me. Okay, looks like it's my turn. You've gotten a lot stronger these past few years. Pretty amazing, Trunks. Makes sense that you're as strong as you are. I've been too busy studying while you've still been training. I've still got a long way to go, though. This is a rare opportunity for me. Let loose your full power, please, Gohan. You got it. You're no match for me. Thank you for training with me, everyone. You don't know how much this means to me. Efficiency. To 
facing off against Vegeta, Piccolo and Gohan, Trunks feels stronger than ever. Now more confident in his strength, Trunks decides it's finally time for him to return to the future. Before he leaves to return to his own time, Trunks says goodbye to everyone and promises they'll see one another again. Do we get the ending for that? What is this? Stay in the present? I have to do this. I must. Trunks had made up his mind to return to where and when he belonged. He would say goodbye to his friends here and return to a brighter future, one in which his friends are still alive. And that was the Trunks arc.